Besides all the games and studios joining Xbox through the Bethesda acquisition, they're also getting access to all of the engines used on these games. So during yesterday's roundtable between Xbox and Bethesda, they talked about a lot of interesting stuff. They introduced the teams and one of the things Phil Spencer mentioned was how much he liked id tech and how it could potentially be used to collaborate with other studios going forward. And before we get into this any further, if you guys are new here and you enjoy what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow and help grow this community so we can have some great conversations in the comments below. Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal were reboots to Doom as a franchise franchise and they really brought brand new life to the game as they made really fast paced fun action first person shooters and the software used to create this game was id software called id tech it was also used to power machine games wolfenstein games which are also first person shooters and the engine is known for having great visuals while delivering 60 frames per second on consoles and being able to run at really high frame rates on pc and phil spencer seems to be a big fan of id tech as he said this there's no studio that's what's every pixel on screen in every frame the way id software does and then when you think about their capability and i think about them collaborating and working and talking with the gear studio Co the coalition halo studio 343 and just first person slash third person shooter space that we have the studios that are there it's just kind of an amazing capability so that's interesting to see because having these studios and having these games is amazing to have but at the same time they're getting access to all of the engines that are powering these games it tech being a very good engine you can just see it by playing doom by playing wolfenstein how smooth those games run how fun they are how responsive they are and if you think about using those engines and bring them to other franchises within xbox game studios that are already there like gears and like halo the possibilities are pretty crazy going forward now obviously with halo infinite they already have created the game and they're using the new slip space engine so we're gonna have to see how awesome that engine is or if it isn't live up to expectations when halo infinite it does come out and then you think of gears and gears 5 is one of the best looking games i think out there right now they use the unreal engine to power gears 5 but that means that they have to pay a royalty fee to epic games for using the engine and now if they were to kind of adapt id tech for the next gears game they're going to be saving money on having to pay that royalty fee and they're going to be able to kind of adapt it to a third person shooter and we'll be able to see the lengths that this engine can actually go when working on multiple types of games i think this is pretty exciting i'm excited to see how they actually use the knowledge that they've they're gaining from these bethesda studios and i think that there's going to be a lot of interesting collaborations that come out of this acquisition at the round table one of the biggest things they talked about was the collaboration between studios and how within the different studios they enjoy each other's work and they aren't being forced to collaborate with other studios but they want to collaborate with other studios because they're fans of the work being done so i think going forward with xbox game studios with the 20 three studios now that they have under them there's going to be a ton of collaboration and some of the stuff that may come out of this collaboration could be pretty unreal when you think about the creative minds getting together coming up with new ideas taking what they already know and learn from making the games that they are actually working on and then adding it to the creative ideas of somebody else and other studios just in terms of the first person shooters right now within xbox game studios if you think about it so you have halo you have doom you have wolfenstein you have the upcoming perfect dark so there are a ton of first person shooters that will be coming out from xbox game studios and in the future maybe all the studios collaborate and continue to improve on these games and then you think of all of the rpg ips out there like i may forget listing some but like you have fallout you have skyrim you're gonna have the new fable when it comes out you have avowed and you have Outer Worlds and all the stuff Obsidian is working on. So it's absolutely crazy the amount of RPGs, first person shooters that Xbox has under them. Then you have the stuff like developers that Rare are working on with Everwild. And this is from James Blackburn's LinkedIn, who is a lead designer at Rare, saying that they are working on something rare. It's something the world doesn't have and hasn't seen before. So that's very exciting because there's also new ideas that we haven't seen and potentially have never seen before for in gaming that are coming out and then there's all the other stuff out there you have the forza and you have 
the games like Grounded, which I think is a really fun and unique game and it's going to be a game that continues to go on forever. And then you have a game like Sea of Thieves from Rare as well, where that game has completely blown up and could probably gone beyond a lot of people's expectations in terms of the amount of people that actually play it and are continuing to play it. So all that being said, basically now Xbox Game Studios it's great that there's all of these games coming from Bethesda and all the other studios within ZeniMax, but at the same time, one of the biggest things they are getting out of this deal is just the information sharing that is going to go on between studios. So the ability to create new IPs, new ideas, and just add to the games and worlds that are already out there is going to be really awesome for Xbox Game Studios going forward. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you think that having it tech is going to add a lot to the first person genre within Xbox Game Studios? And do you think they should be applying it to further first person shooter games or other games out there going forward? If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you are new here and you liked what you see throughout this video, I'd really appreciate you hitting that subscribe button to help this channel grow, help grow this community so we can have some great conversations in the comments below. Thank you again for watching. Thank you for your support and I'll catch you in the next video.